Hello everyone, Xenia Zimmer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Luminous Avenger X. Last time, we did the prologue stage, and this time, we're going to Sumeragi, building 13. Somehow we made it on board. It'd be real spiffy if we could just ride this thing all the way to the main building, but pick up some enemies. Look at the notice us. Yeah, it's no big shocker. Oh well. Come on, boss. Let's really let them know we're here. Now, we're heading with new enemies. These mage guys and these <laughs> bolt enemies. This gives us some great music. I guess we could talk about how Copen is in other games and. I will say, I kinda hate coping in other games. <laughs> and it's mostly because he's basically fascist, or racist, or whatever he was. Would you consider it? It's just like, he doesn't give any adepts any chance. Which is sad, because. Like. I give it in his backstory. His parents were murdered by an electrical adept. But come on. Does that mean all adepts have to be put to the same disgusting standard? Like, not all of them are evil. But, uh, I digress. In 2 is much worse, because. It's just so, just so much of him hating on the death. This mid boss is probably one of the more annoying mid bosses in this game, which is saying something. Oh my god! It's mostly for this attack. I guess we can finally talk about the quote unquote difficulty changes. But they don't really change difficulty, more of changing how hard it is to get score. Uh, Gutless allows you to basically get score without worrying about being hit or activating pervasion. Cautious, which I believe is the one we're on. Sorry, I'll get back to it. Hey boss, hang on a sec. I'm detecting crazy gravitational re excuse me, irregularities. The champion's weak in gravity. Must be dealing with one tough cookie if they can pull something off like this. You jump a lot higher now, so make sure you don't whoosh up into the air and bump your noggin or something. Two emblems. Uh, cautious is, as you see, 
three hits and then our score resets. A nice reference there. Because that's... Oh, which one is it? Is it Jewel or Lumen? I think it's Lumen. I believe Jewel's outfit is slightly different. A nice reference though. But... And I believe, I think it's called Fearless? I don't remember because I, I only play in Cautious. And for the DLC in this game, uh, Godless. More just because that DLC is just not fun. Three. Uh, all the songs are randomized, and we can eventually, once we hear them once, choose which song plays that uh, Lola plays uh, when she wakens. Really? Now we're at our transition point with bosses. Man, take the elevator. I wish we'd do this every time. It looks like the day is just ahead. Let's hope it has what we're looking for. And we missed the last one, sadly. Looks like we have a woman and an android. This is still director and president of Gaiganjo, the largest electronics manufacturer in the nation. I'm just nine. Gaiganjo's top of the line multi purpose engine. Pleasure making me Come now, Destin. Gonna be getting rid of these bozos. But don't need no introductions. Understood. What's the serious apology? When you say bone and stuff like that, you sound creepily human. <laughs> That's what I like about you. Your words are waste on me, ma'am. Don't be it. Ain't no one else to do this but me. I've got a little promise to Sumura with Sumurage, right? You know, get your butt home. Start getting my coffee ready. So I'm gonna need a big old mug full when I'm through here. Understood. I shall prepare our finest coffee. We wait eagerly for your return. May fortune smile upon you. Hey now, X. Let's give a show on the road. I've got nothing against you, pal, but if you don't bring it down, Semuragi's gonna, gonna come calling for my destiny. What are you talking about? Don't you worry about it. It's my business. Got nothing to do with you. Just need you to know that.
Okay, good reason to deliver the pound that you're about to get. Now we face our first boss, Stella. Well, since seeing her weakness isn't something that we can actually get, but we need for her. Well, compared to the other two falcons, I believe they're called in this game, she's the easiest out of the first three we can face. So we're in chaos forgotten, remnants yeah. form together. I cannot get all. I'll be trying to get all of their haikus, because I believe they're all haikus, which is kinda cool. Alright, now we've got to gather that data, initiate remote access, beep, boop, beep, I got my eyes on some tasty looking data. Ah, uh, that sucks. Most of it's heavily encrypted. It's gonna take me forever to analyze the stuff. Should have expected as much. Let's start analyzing it as soon as we get back. Roger that! I just hope to inform the butterfly effect is buried in there somewhere. And because of how quick that was, I'm willing to do another level. Don't think this will be regular. Unless it does become regular. <laughs> we got a new X weapon. Orbital Edge, one of my favorites. Oh, from all the games. Oh, right there. That's. Oh, that is the best. You're one of a kind with those hands of yours. Huh? Kilpin? Why are you two into Lola? Uh, we fought one of Samaragi's falcons of a really powerful Septima while we were out on the mission. Using data from the fight, we were able to imitate the falcon Septima to create a new weapon. An EX weapon. He was installing it. Wow. I'm not really sure I get, but that sounds amazing. Well, Lola, how do you feel? Okay. Feeling fine. Any EX weapons we can get? We can get, we get can be swapped out with Stellar Spark in the pause menu anytime. Every set has different properties. The mini explosives will work better on different enemies. Let's try them all. Wow! You really are amazing, Copen. And we'll be trying that out in this episode. We've got the Ultra Five. Or a fabrication plant, I believe it is. From what we were told, Samuragi cut the power to the factory ages ago, but here it is, still chugging right along. Just got me thinking. It may have. But they might have some spare energy supplies just lying around, you know? Let's get in there and grab some good stuff and bring it home. Wait, I said some enemies. Tsuburagi's troops have something in the after too. Seriously? Ugh, they have the worst timing. I'm getting real tired of seeing these chumps. Now, let's switch out with Orbital Edge. Orbital Edge is probably the 
best when going around these stages because you effectively basically have just quick access. Now those exploding crates, watch it. Anything, even your ground pad, even your ground pad can accidentally activate them. Accidentally touch them a little bit, and they go off. So you want to be careful. This is going to be super useful, because it's gold! And we got a lot of money from that. Uh, we're going to want the extra bullet. Yeah, we're going to get the bullet. I want to get the extender suit. But I want to get the extra bullets first. Now, we just gotta race along. If we... I'm gonna kill these things too fast. If we... But that's not gonna show up better. I'll have to wait until the boss, because I can not Yeah, no, things just die too fast. These blocks? Yeah, we need orbs at edge. It's also the reason why I recommend getting it first, Bruce, because you can actually access everything now. Plus, it makes rooms like this absolute joke. Now, yeah, I'm quite careful. Especially if we want to get all the emblems. We're not going to, but it still doesn't, it's not going to stop trying. God damn it. Points. 
reload. Nice, I'll hit the checkpoint. I know I've gotten all the, the emblems before. I don't remember where all of them exactly are. So, it's like... It's like, not really much of a point in trying to find them again. Plus, they don't, unlike in the second game where they do have a use, annoyingly, This game they don't, so it's like no point. There we go. Oh yeah, got a big energy we here. Hey boss, there's a warehouse nearby, but it's full of, it's full of EN packs. Energy packs. So let's go. Ah, uh, might you be here to appreciate my fine art? Are you some rough in here to interfere with my masterpieces? If you don't hand over those EN packs, Consider me the latter. That is most unfortunate. Every year is set to explode in the most splendid and artistic manner. I am Krim. I saw a beauty in the one who light up, with this light up this place in an exquisite blaze with my detonation septima. Have you ever heard the saying, ART IS AN EXPLOSION! Wait. Wasn't it explosions it should be artistic? Well, I guess either way is fine. Everything should be done with jaw-droppingly gorgeous artistic flair. The show is about to begin, and I'm going to blow the roof off this place. Your death will be my next masterpiece. Krim! Or as I like to call him, Discount Data. It's actually pretty tough. It's mostly due to his armor. Break the armor though, and he's a joke. No joke. I'm not giving save. Because we're done. That's how quickly he goes down. I will try and say his, because as you'll probably figure out, there is rematches. And I will try and say it then. Phew. I'm glad that's over. That guy's whole vibe was sending chills down my circuits. But hey, and hey, the impacts are safe. Bonus! Sumeragi goes the extra melt to make sure their impacts stay in one piece. Very as safe as possible. Who knows what could have happened if that fight went any longer? Still, good thing Sumeragi's safety standards are high, so. Everyone will be still when we come back home with these. So we defeated Discount Deidara. We got the EX weapon and probably the most powerful Photon Detonator. So, with that, next time. We'll go into the store ruins and facing, I think, what the game was hoping was the first boss for you. But being real, Simuragi Building 13's boss is much easier. This is Eno and Zima, signing out.